So today I'm in sunny Utah Park City, just outside the uh, Hooning and Racing Division headquarters. I'm gonna give you guys a tour, and with us today, I've got the best tour guide ever. Hello, Butch, how are you? Not too bad, how are you? I'm perfect. Here we have, uh, we are fortunate to build this out of containers. Everything is modular, it can be picked up and moved to a new location if we ever so decide to build a new place. So, old cars now retired, such as a uh, hybrid function home vehicle, better known as HFHV. And we have the conference room, which is pretty awesome. 1552 rooms. So this picture here would be the inside of that car out there, HFHV, and it is placed on Onan Poya, the world famous stage in Finland. That's a, such a cool picture. Trophies, probably I would say your favorite trophies. Oh yeah. Holiest Sweden, first place. Hell Norway, first place. And then we need to add Argentina, first place. And I'm hoping by the end of next year we fill up this ping pong table with more of your first place trophy. Oh yes, our first place trophy. You never win without a good team. Fort Lauderdale, first place in Detroit. Some second and thirds along the way. A nice thank you from the, our good friends down in New Zealand. Two second places at Daytona for Ken. Then just going through numerous other trophies, Gymkhana Grid, Peterson Automotive Museum. What do you think is Ken's favorite trophy of all time? Ken's favorite trophy, I would say, of all time, of everything he's had, might possibly be his gold pencils from the One Show Award. These are online films and video and branded content online. They kind of show a different side to Ken, whereas Ken's great in the car, but he's also great in the office. Those are basically the highest acclaimed awards for marketing that you could have, and Ken has two of them from the Jim Conna 5 film, where he beat out corporations that have skyscrapers of marketing teams, and Ken and his five-man crew were able to beat those guys for some of the best awards they have. The famous Ain Care War. This is where it, we show that things aren't always rosy and gold in motorsports. Oh, like this door. This is Barbados 2015. We have the rear spoiler, the driver's door, and the roof scoop. Being the highest point on the vehicle, scuffed up like that is never a good thing. That's time. crazy. I'll take you guys up to Ken's office now. He doesn't spend a whole lot of time up here because he likes to sit in the conference room, but this is Ken's office. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> if you have an outdoor sitting area, it might as well feature a bear. That's true. Some driving suits, I love driving suits. Ken's time in the WRC, 2010, 2011, and 2012 suits. Can you hold this camera? Just like, you know? Ah. Welcome to the race shop. Thank you. This is where we house all of Ken's toys or his race cars. Sometimes we get a visit from things like our World Rallycross test car. We also have Ken's toys like a Ski-Doo Freeride 800R, Can-Am Bombardier, X3, Can-Am Maverick, four-seater. That's kind of the family go-around mountain bike shuttle vehicle. Living here in the race shop is the Hoonicorn, our Ford Mustang version two, a twin turbo methanol powered V8, putting out about 1400 horsepower through all four wheels. And I have to say, this is probably the craziest car on the planet ever built with its 1400 horsepower, it's just insane. Also in the shop is... My favorite, the Ford Escort RS2000 Mark II. Love it. Why is it your favorite? Uh, I think the reason why this is my favorite car is because my dad was racing one of these back in the days in the Norwegian Rallycross Championship. And also, this is the only car in the workshop having my name on it. I'll tell you why it's my favorite, and that's because it's also our only car that's naturally aspirated. So it's nice to see an empty engine bay, no turbocharger, just big exhaust headers, and an engine. And this engine provides around 340 horsepower? Yes. Such a perfect car. 
Look at the wide Buddha kit. Insane. With the 1552 rims. Oh, I love it. So big thank you Ken Butch for guiding us through the workshop. Thanks for coming out to Park City, Utah, the home of Hoonigan Racing Division. Let's go have some fun. Oh yeah!